Hi, I'm Miss Deb with Red Deer Public Library. Welcome to our Schools Out Challenge. This week your challenge is to be a better friend to bugs. Now, lots of bugs are very beneficial to our environment, or most bugs are. Uh, bees and butterflies, for example, are great pollinators. And then there's ants and there's worms in our soil that help aerate it. We call them little mini rototillers. So they turn the soil and they add nutrients to it and that helps our plants grow better. There are ladybugs that eat aphids and other bugs that are damaging to crops. So they're another important bug. But sometimes there are bugs that even if they are beneficial, we don't really like them near our homes that much. So I'm not a big fan myself of wasps and mosquitoes. But there are ways to try to keep those away and to help uh, out the good bugs or the bugs we do like to have near our homes without doing any harm to them. And one way to do that is by using plants. So there are some plants out there that certain bugs don't like the smell of. One example is mint. So I've planted some mint in one of my garden boxes. So I've got spearmint, peppermint, this one is chocolate mint, and the one on the end is apple mint. So who knew that mint came in so many different flavors? And it has a smell that wasps and ants and spiders and even flies don't really like. So they tend to stay away from these kinds of plants. So they're a really good choice near your home. The other beautiful thing about these herbs is that they will flower later in the season. So in summer and in early fall, they're going to flower and that is an attractant for bees. So you're keeping away bugs you don't want, but you're actually encouraging bees to come, which is great. So it's a great food for bees later in the season. Another plant that is a similar choice or herb is basil. So I've got some in this planter. And I also chose to put some flowers in this one. And these on the end are marigolds. And marigolds tend to give off a smell that wasps are not big fans of. So they're also a good choice to help keep wasps away. Now, some of you may not have a flower bed or a, a garden that you can plant these plants in. So I brought a couple of choices you could make your own out of recycled containers. And one option is a milk carton. And this one, I've just cut off the top and we made a little bunny face on it just for fun. The another way you can do your milk carton is to turn it, so, turn it on its side. So it would be similar shape to this box and put your plants in that way. So in the bottom, I've put some rocks and that will help with drainage. And then I will put soil and then I'll put my plant inside. Another recycled container that might be a good option is a jar. And again, we have rocks in the bottom and some soil, and then we'll put our plant in. And this one, we just decorated with some Sharpies for fun too. So there's some good recycle containers you could use. And the last thing I wanna mention, one more way to make our yards a little bit more bug friendly is to cut our grass a little bit less often, believe it or not. If we let it grow a little bit longer, it gives it a little more shelter and makes it a little bit safer place for some of those bugs. So that's your challenge this week is be a better friend to bugs, maybe help your parents with some gardening, and we will see you again next week.